so welcome to this channel IBM I classes uh, in this video uh, we are going to discuss how we can create a CT in DB2 that is uh, usually known as common table expressions so if uh, there are tables and we want to create a view over this then we can simply create a view over those tables but if we don't want uh, a view over tables and we want to use a view we actually want to use a temporary view on a, on a particular table so in that case we can create the CTEs common table expressions and we can create a temporary view over those tables by running or executing some SQL statements so those views those temporary that temporary view will be accessible till the time those SQL statements are run so what are CTE actually and uh, how we can use them what are the syntax so I'll uh, going to discuss all these things in this video and uh, I'll also show you, so show you a few examples there so first thing is it's a temporary view that is created over table and the scope is only limited to those statements till the time those statements are run so in this case uh, the syntax would be like this uh, we will use with statement then the CTE name the CTE name can be anything it's it can be a short name or it can be a long name as well long name that uh, actually uh, object name is of 10 length in IBM I but we can give a, a length uh, greater than 10 up to 128 uh, in IBM I that uh, uh, denotes as a long name but when we create a long name uh, give a long name for a city then IBM I itself handles and creates uh, allocates a short name for that that uh, system short name for that so in this case we can give a CTE name with CTE name then this is optional thing that in brackets we can provide the column list separated by comma Suppose we have two columns in our table and we have selected those two columns in the CTE and now we want to use that so the columns should be consistent and suppose we have selected two columns in CTE so now we have to list uh, list here two columns only and not one if we one uh, listed one here write it one one column only here will select in that case uh, it will give the error like an uh, fields are inconsistent with respect to CT like something so after that so this is optional either we can write it or we can ignore this we can simply use with CT name CT name can be anything CT1 CT2 anything as now under this bracket start this bracket and close this bracket here so this is something where we write the SQL statements to uh, fill the data or to prepare the data in the CTE uh, for multiple tables so we can use single table as well and or the multiple table suppose we want to use a single table and uh, one there's one table which is those uh, millions of employees data but we want some particular employees data uh, with respect to some conditions so in that case we can select those data only in CTE and then we can use those data and we can work upon that so this is the definition only to fill the data in the CT and those to those columns which are selected here in the CT should be reflected here should be used here and that are optional either we can give them or not and then after that once the CT is completed so this is single CT we can create multiple CTEs in a single SQL statement and then we can at last we can join them or whatever we want to do with all those CT and we can then select insert or delete and do anything with the SQL uh, with that CT at the last so this is the CT syntax that actually used and I will create a, in this video we will create a simple CT uh, based on one, one table or two table and uh, that will uh, that will have only one CTE in this SQL statement um, in the CTE or you can say 
city will not be go will not going to create multiple CTEs in a single statement, SQL statement. So we'll uh, learn each and everything in CT. Uh, we'll create the multiple CTEs as well in our next videos. But this in in this video, uh, this is a very basic video for CT. So we'll be only going to create um, simple CT or single CT in an SQL statement. That can be based on single table or on multiple tables here yeah. so now we can uh, have the uses of the um, CTE in DB2 so if you don't want to create a view um, but actually actually an object then you can go for CTE they are actually more faster than other things so if you don't want a specific object the existed object not a temporary object that's a permanent object uh, then in that case you can go for this uh, create view option either then if you want it temporary then you can create a CD same is with you can uh, same uses is like something uh, you can use that CT multiple times in the SQL statement so once you create the CT that have your data and you want to use it further in your SQL statement then you can use them very easily in the in your SQL queries and third one is the recursion you can create the CTE to uh, provide the recursive results like something so that will run recursively so these are three CTEs which we will be uh, covering in our next videos as well so in this one we will be showing you the basic example of a CTE so let's start with the example here. This is the STSQL session that I have opened. And now what I'll do, I'll create a table. So let's create a table named employee. Take F4 here. Sorry. I didn't written table here. So I'll write it. Create table name. Take F4 here. Then name it employee. Now the first thing will be suppose Emp ID, employee ID, and I want to give it as decimal. Say nine. Then, emp name, employee name, as character twenty five. So let's take these two um, fields here only. So let's press enter then. This file will be created so we can see that this is the file employee having ID and name okay now we'll insert the data here into employee take a four here and two employee ID one with name say Amit Employee ID 2 Say H Employee ID 3 Abhe Employee ID 4 On which Employee ID Amen. So let's see the data. We have inserted five records here in employee table. So there are five records inserted with employee ID 1 till 5 and employee name is Amit Ajay Abhay Anuj Aman. So now create another table. Create table with syntax k table. Take F4 here. Uh, as salary so we'll uh, keep employee id as common here so it's decimal 9 comma 0 and uh, then we'll uh, take salary here salary will again go for decimal 9 comma 0 okay we'll create a table here select star from salary so it's empty right now. Now we'll insert the data. Uh, with insert into into salary. 
ठीक है फोर है एम्प्लॉय आईडी वन को सैलरी विल बी से मंथली सैलरी से इसपे ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड नो इट्स अगेन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड फॉर टू फॉर एम्प्लॉय आईडी थ्री इट्स लाइक Uh, two lakh fifty thousand something and four for employee ID five is like five lakh employee ID five it's like fifteen lakh. Let's see the data in this table. Let us start from salary. Start. From salary, so we have these data. Employee ID one, two, three, four, five. So we have the information of employee ID with respect to salary. We have the information of salary with respect to employee ID. Sorry, and your uh, name with respect to employee ID. In these two table, employee and salary. Okay. So now let's create a CTE here. I'm face down. Uh, what first I'll use with with now write the CTE name. Uh, CTE name is like CTE one. Now write as then start your bracket. Now this goes for we can provide here. Column list, but we are not going to provide it right now. In first example, first I'll create a city, then I'll provide that syntax as well. And how we can do that? As select a star, or we can uh, we can use a star either star, or we can use the column names M by D, comma M name um from Which table employ? Suppose I am selecting the data from one table only, so I am not putting any conditions. I just want to create a query view that is a CTE over this. So the definition is done. Now I'll do the full select here. Select either we can use star from. Select a star from CTE one. So we have this data. So this CTE is gets created. Employee ID one till five. Now if I want to add a condition here. We can surely add where M ID is less than two or M ID is less than three. See, so employee ID less than three is one and two. We can have these data as well, or either we can add this condition here also. Because we are only selecting the data, from this table only, from this table, shift F3, OU, MP ID is less than 3. So we have the same data, same result. Mm. Now the again uh, the syntax uh, I'll show you the next syntax that I have already told you we can use the column list here. So say I I already told you will get uh, the error here if you use the one column not columns are not consistent. Number of columns is specified you you are getting the error number of columns is specified not consistent. So we have to use all the columns here, which are gets selected using this definition. And suppose if we have selected this one, then it would work. So if we remove that from this, it will work. Don't worry. Now I'll use this. So I have to give that because this is giving arrow and name like this one. So we have created a CTE of based on single table. Now we'll combine two table and then create a CTE. Say, okay. 
delete come out yes kill is down so with ct2 say name i don't want to give the column list here again as select m p dot m by d comma e dot name e dot m by d a dot name um p dot salary okay from from employee table dot a employee as a left join will do the left join here and with salary as b okay select e dot this a dot name b dot salary from employee a left join b okay the definition ends here select star from ct2 so what was the arrow Was the error here? Wait. Sorry, I have not written the full syntax, so I have to join these two tables. I just uh, forgot to mention that. On some fields because these two fields are common that's why I use its alias here mpyd b dot mpyd equals to b dot mpyd so these two uh, uh, columns are common on which we are joining this table so I forgot to mention that that's why the error was coming so uh, now I just mentioned here select okay well, this one is the name sorry again I didn't mention the name I just called it this is the amp name so let's start so we have find that employee ID 1 2 3 4 5 and the name and salary of those employees Amit has a salary of 25,000 Ajay has 50,000 these three have 25 uh, 20, 2 lakh 50,000, 5 lakh and 15 lakhs only uh, once just ended 1 lakh, 1 lakh 50,000 expandingly so we have created a CTE joining two, these two tables and uh, now we have the full info, uh, employee information, employee ID, name and salary suppose I just want to find sal those people's salary is less than one lakh so what I'll do here I'll write for you salary is less than one lakh so the salary is less than one lakh there are two employees first from the city that Amit and Ajay whose salary is 25,000 50,000 so in case if you want to find greater than one lakh what was that so Abhay Anujan Aman whose salary is greater than 1 lakh suppose let's remove this uh, we can yeah we can mention the name column names here as well amp name comma salary 
again the same results so this is a very basic CTE that I have uh, taken the example of in this video so this is just a basic introduction of the CTE uh, we will surely be creating the toughest to toughest examples or some more complex examples or complex queries in our next videos to let you know how we can actually use CTE in our daily to daily affairs or in our work so that we can make our work more easier by simply creating a CTE and we can do whatever we want, whatever we want to do uh, whatever we want to do using the multiple queries suppose we are running multiple queries and fetching data again and again in a multiple queries or here comes a CTE which can fetch data from multiple tables in a single CTE and that's a very fast method to do particular things using SQL so right now right right now in today it today today's uh, video um, we have shown you the examples of CTE how we can use them how we can create a CTE what are what is the actual syntax to create a CTE uh, what are the optionals in uh, optional things in the CTE syntax and what is the actual uses so I think I simply uh, show you the single CTE here the next videos I'll, I'll be showing you creating multiple CTEs in a single statement and then using it then combining those CTEs to fetch some results and uh, also I'm using CTE in the sim single query multiple times or I'll sh again I'll show you the examples of recursion CTEs as well so thank you for watching my video uh, please don't forget to subscribe my video if you think this is useful for you and also 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 and this it's a request that please share my videos to your uh, friends or groups uh, and also like my video thank you and have a nice time